And what do I have here? I have pieces from my Good Things jar. In my New Year's podcast, I talked about my Good Things jar. And what does that have to do with the title of my thing here? When. It's when, not if. Well, this morning we watched our church online. They stream it. I'm so thankful now. And it wasn't because it snowed, because it did snow, and some people didn't go because of the snow. And I'm thankful my church has the streaming online for those who can't drive in the snow. There's lots of reasons why people can't make it to church or don't want to make it to church and want to do it in the privacy of their own home. Lots and lots of reasons. And today we stayed home because it was when, not if. We sang a song, what do I mean by that, right? He's like, what are you talking about? Um, at church this morning, we sang a song, God is so good. In the lyrics of that song, I change them like I frequently do in many songs that we sing at church or even things on the radio. I change the lyrics so that they fit my belief system. And so I am speaking what I believe. I don't want to be just speaking what someone else said because if I don't agree with it, I don't want to be saying that. Well, the lyrics of the song, one part of the lyrics of the song, God is so good. I think it's part of the chorus. I don't know. It says, if life should bring suffering, I'm like, if I change that to when, because everyone's life will have suffering in it. It's part of being on the planet. Jesus told us in the world you'll have tribulation. He was trying, not trying to make us think about Murphy's Law or be negative or anything. He was just stating a fact that in the world we have trouble. So the line of that song, I change it from not if your life brings suffering, it's when your life brings suffering. And why does that matter to me today? Well, I didn't go to church today because my back hurt itself yesterday. Funny thing, how it happened is really strange. I was taking my good things jar off of where I keep it because on New Year's Day, I take it out, I dump it out, and I read all of the contents of it. I have one in it today because I wrote for the 1st of January today. As I'm recording this, this is the 2nd of January. But I know on my podcast, I love you, and you'll get this a little later, and this message will still be as fresh as ever. Because it's always when, not if. And I took that jar, and I took it from the one place, and I set it on my desk. And my back hurt itself. Seriously, I was setting the jar on the desk and I got a shooting pain in my back. And I was in so much pain yesterday. I had the heating pad on it, which I am sitting here in my chair with my heating pad on it right now as I'm doing this. And what I was waving in front of you at the beginning were things from my good things jar. Because I sat in my chair here on the 1st of January I dumped out all the contents of my good things jar into a little basket on my lap. It was actually a basket that I got from my friend Denise who went, who died last year, last February. So it was a nice little reminder of her. But I dumped all 365 pieces of paper in that little basket and read through every single one of them. I took some pictures and I'll be sharing those as I put that together. And a big pile on the floor of the ones that opened and I saved certain ones. Which leads me to the second part of that lyric. You know, in the song it says, and if my life brings suffering, then they go on to say, I will remember. And I changed that also. Because I learned a lesson many years ago <laughs> from a precious man that I didn't even know how precious what he said to me that day. I would carry it for years and years to come. I was very young and very new in being a believer in Jesus and I was still so messed up in the head and still so traumatized and but I was like 
young and thought I knew everything because I was probably 19, maybe. And you know how 19 year olds know everything. So I knew everything and I was, I made some declaration about what I was going to do about God or something. And this gentleman says to me, only by the grace of God. And I was like, wow, I felt like he slapped me at the time. I didn't appreciate it. But as time went on, I learned about the grace of God. It took years and years because I guess I'm a little slow, which is why I want to help you. Maybe you can learn a little faster if you can learn from me and my mistakes. I've been through a lot. I have learned a lot. I have changed a lot. I am working on being more and more of a victorious soul, which is why my podcast is called Victorious Souls, because of the four core values that I hold to of love and honor centric, warrior mindset, which is fighting through and not giving up and taking ownership of your life because only I can change my life. No one can do it for me. Owning my choices and self-care. I have to take care of myself. You need to take care of yourself because you can't give from an, an empty garden, an empty cup, or however you want to have that become full. And so I learned that from that gentleman many years ago. So when I was listening to that song this morning of if my life brings suffering, I will remember, and it wasn't even just today, but the first time I heard that song, I'm like, no, it's when life brings me suffering, or however, when, when this life, when this life, I wrote it down, when this life brings suffering, not God brings suffering, when this life brings suffering, help me remember. And that's what these things in my hand have to do my good things jar. That's what that's good for to help me remember, help me remember that God is good. Even when I'm sitting with a heating pad on my back, God is good. Even when I have trouble standing up from a chair because my back hurt itself for some bizarre reason, because this life has suffering in it. We have good days. We have bad days. We have good moments. We have bad moments, but there is suffering in this world. And if we will remember that God is good, we'll remember the good things in our life, it will help us. It gives us something to grab a hold of. And like I have these things in my hand. I have, I don't know how many are in this little stack here. And all the different colors I have here. I wanted to share just a couple of them with you because it's important to remember things. And I wanted to just give you an idea of what I write down. Some of them are very personal and I won't share them. And that I wanna encourage you to do that yourself. Be very personal about what speaks to you. Cause some of these, they are like how my life is so different from a time when I was suffering. This is something I have now that I didn't have in that time of suffering. But those are personal because they speak about other people and love covers. So I don't speak people's names to expose anything. I'm just going to expose, my, expose myself and expose the faithfulness of God, the love of God. And in January of last year, the 10th of January, 2021, we had gone to church. It was a Sunday. And I wrote down the day after. Church was awesome. This was something that the pastor had said. Jesus is a person, not a law, not an issue, not a religion, not a system, not an idea. I love that so much. Jesus is a person, not all these things that we get messed up in our head with. And it keeps us from knowing him and having a good life. And in May the 7th, 2021, I wrote on here, Pain into Purpose, Facebook event to celebrate Emerging with Wings and my friend Denise. The 7th of May was in 2021 was a seven year birthday of my book Emerging with Wings and the birthday of my friend Denise who died in 2021. And I also wrote down in July 24th, 2021, kept safe through a tornado warning with two of my grandchildren overnight. Yeah, that was a scary thing. We went in the basement. And if you've been through those things, you're thankful when you come out safe on the other side. And in December the 14th, 2021, I wrote down, I got to play Zuba, a game, with my grandson on his birthday. Those are just a couple things. 
I have a ton that I saved, and I would look to see how long I have been doing this Good Things jar, and I started it in 2017. So I have been doing it for many years. It has been extremely helpful, and I wanna encourage you to do something to help you remember. What can you do to help you remember? You can do a Good Things jar like me, make a gratitude journal, just have a, a notebook to write down what will help you remember the good? What will help you to remember that God is good, especially when you're in pain? Because pain happens and it will, it will hurt. And when we are hurting, sometimes we need help remembering something besides the pain. Pain can be so blinding. Like yesterday, I was in so much pain. I'm way better today. I'm still taking care of myself, self-care, one of the core values of a victorious soul. And I wanna encourage you to be love and honor centric, to have a warrior mindset, to take ownership of your life and to take care of yourself. And to remember, God is good and he loves you. And I love you. I'm Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. Mwah.